So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. It just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Come on, girl. Hurry up! Get a wild time! Yeah. Here we go. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte... Is it for the bank job, or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Saint Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn Faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together or we're not there simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything i know you're right just feels like we're on borrowed time again i mean the old driscoll's found us yeah we need to move and soon haven't i made that clear i feel like i'm going in circles with all of you Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Whoa. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking.
Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. <laughs> Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. We call this ground, it feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Let's stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. It's peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. 
Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Hey! Someone there? You in a tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. I got the scale! It's over here! <laughs> Stuck! Got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh... Who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Scared. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. We got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull.
think he's going? Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. He's under the water. Coming right forward. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you, both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. <clears throat> well. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. 
Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest a fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. 
but the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. How you doing, Dave? Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Yeah. I've heard. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but race. Here we go, then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. My luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard 
Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um... Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I 
hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. Suggest. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, well, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. 